next weekend, it's the CNT original movie, Fear the Dark Finger. Coming up next, it's the tale of directionless heiresses and pill poppin' playboys on I'm Rich. Hey, race fans, it's coming. Saturdays, don't miss the Patriot 500 live from Patriot Beer Motor Speedway. It's edge of your seat excitement as rednecks drive in a circle 500 times. Welcome to I'm Rich, the show that puts avarice firmly on the national agenda as we zealously and emphatically discuss things rich people have. You'll never afford, and anyone with good taste would never want. In this week's show, we've got tray rich people who inherited truckloads of money and spend it ostentatiously. We've got flashy criminals who've bribed congressmen to be allowed to live as they want and get plump business contracts. And we'll get down and dirty with fab politicians who siphoned off 50% of the gross domestic product of poor countries to buy speedboats, servants, snakeskin sofas, and incredible surround sound sanitariums. Plus, we've got Liberty City's most vacuous debutante cokeheads going head-to-head -head and giving it in a race to see who can visit the most STD clinics and rehabs. It's glamour, guts, and really gross greed. From diamond-encrusted glory holes to the proper pronunciation of Ibiza or Ibiza. We've got a full half hour of gawking at the possessions of rich people and thinking, that should so be me. Why am I a vapid waste of a human being? Maybe I'll blow my brains out during commercials. All because you're not on I'm Rich. First up, Chloe Parker. If you don't know who she is, you're a pop culture retard, and that's deadly serious. This 24-year-old sometime felcher, an heiress to a magnastronomosity of a fortune to the tune of $950 billion. She's one seriously hot number. She's got fake tits stuffed with rubies as well. It's luxury plastic surgery taken to a whole new level. Now, to fill up time, a person is going to repeat what I just said in a different way while we watch the same footage again. Chloe Parker is 24 years old and really hot. She's worth a lot of money and is totally vapid. She's had a lot of plastic surgery, but otherwise is devoid of meaning. She's rich. She's got it all, and money is everything. She has a daddy, money, and one of those tiny little dogs that rich people keep in their vagina. I want one of those so badly. Woof woof. So you think your daddy is nice? Chloe Parker went from tycoon tot to tycoon twat. She lived in this mega mansion her daddy bought for her after her first period. And when Pop is back in Colombia managing the family's produce importing company, she's out at the Caraways. Fantabulous! Party in Paris and finger blast in Florence. Her amazing mansion has an underwater home theater with midget mermaids, jumbo jet garages, and a 600-foot yacht that costs three million a day just to run. Her penthouse in Algonquin's exclusive Middle Park East District is a little palace in the sky, complete with a moat and drawbridge, torture dungeon, and servants with scurvy, all on the 55th floor. This is real estate the rest of us can only watch on television and masturbate over. I'm masturbating right now, furiously. Now Chloe is best friends with Jill Von Krastenberg. This enfant terrible has been ruling Liberty City's nightlife for the past two years, since her 11th birthday. Her daddy gave her a pair of diamond miners for her 12th birthday, and after she could walk again, sent her to 15 of the most exclusive boarding schools all at the same time, and got her a treehouse with servants. Plus, she's got a flying rabbit. Money. Omnipotence. When you're this amazing, the laws of nature just don't apply. Your life is like a soda commercial, where everything is extreme. Look at this house. That's what it takes to make a splash in the ultra-competitive world of being the kid of rich parents who don't pay any taxes. The Von Krastenbergs are among the richest people in the world, apart from morally, where they're entirely destitute, just like the producers of this show. 
But look at how many sports cars Chloe has. Rumour has it this deliciously defecating debutante screams daddy while doing the dirty deed rotisserie style. They live most of the year in Liberty City at this sumptuous mansion, but pay no taxes because they claim to practice their religion inside their home, taking it off the tax rolls. That's being a real American entrepreneur. That thinking got them a 45-bedroom weekend home upstate. It has a candlelit chandelier in the bathroom and transparent plumbing, so you can eat $100 bills, shit them out, and watch your car car creation as it departs on its journey. Their religion is money. And they are the Pope, the Chief Rabbi, and a serious Ayatollah, all rolled into one. Fabulous. Their shit doesn't stink. And little baby Jill has got her own bedroom in this palatial palace that's carved out of ivory with murals of erotic versions of fairy tales hand-painted by celebrity artists Simon and Nigel. That's how the rich live, with pictures of Little Red Riding Hood taking it in the can from the Big Bad Wolf. Let's take a break while we ponder how all the middle class is just like Red Riding Hood. When we come back, Algonquin's hottest playboy discusses how he spends his money on worthless shit. I shit the bed Got so drunk I gave a dude head Life is just a merciful blur When you pop a piss wasser Piss wasser, don't drink it slow 3 a.m. the bath's up low Sleep in the bathroom on the floor What really matters anymore? All the crap you do all day Who fucking cares anyway? This is beer Drive drunk on the beer Piss water, drink all day It helps your trouble go away yeah, yeah. Piss water, cheap German lager for export only Next week, don't miss the CMT reality show Conjoined Twins, a hot night out This is CMT Welcome back to I'm Rich, the show about rich people that has the production values of a local cable access show. That's because we have to churn this shit out in mass. Luckily, people are stupid enough to watch it. Speaking of churning it out or bopping your baloney on the face of humanity, here's another vacuous rich person we're going to promote for reasons that are entirely beyond anyone's understanding. It's top Algonquin playboy, Tony McTony. TMT is like TNT. This fast-living, fast-fused, but vertically challenged bachelor and Internet 2.0 millionaire has agreed to talk to us about what being rich is all about to him. Uh, since I became really rich, my life is incredible. I got a place with a glass floor so I can take it up some skirts with a special camera and a glass elevator that got a glass jacuzzi in it and I ride up and down for hours. You know what? I'm gonna rub your nose in it. I gone from nerd to hot, quicker than you could say, $750 million in stock ops. Tony's place in Los Santos is legendary. Tony may only be five foot tall, but what he lacks in stature, he more than makes up for in sports cars. Why have one luxury Italian Inferno sports car when you can have two? And why have two when you can have 15? All exactly the same. Each one has monogrammed seats with the special Tony McTony logo. Since I became rich, I realized I needed a logo. So I got the best logo designer to make me one. It cost 15 million just to have it created. The silk thread was shit out by a Trappist monk. It's a yellow M done in an arch on a red background. You've never seen anything like it, people. My towels, my condoms, my gold rim jobs, all of it with the Tony McTony logo. Bitches love initial. Tony also hires women to sit cross-legged and topless in leather pants in bird cages hung from his ceiling. And they meditate so people really realize just how rich he is. Now, I get laid all of the time, which is great because I was a virgin up until about six months ago. Tony spends his weekends powerboating up the Humboldt alongside Algonquin while he gets his special platform shoes hand-built by Eskimos out of Moon Rock. He likes to get back at the kids who beat him up in school by buying the companies where they're employed and sacking them. Hey, I'm not bitter. I'm just a tiny guy with a lot of cash. 
Next up, we've got Alfonso Vasquez. This guy's rich, and he's got a seriously hot daughter that he's gotta have trouble keeping his hands off of. And wow, is his wife a bitch. She took half his money, just like a slut will. But that half, he doesn't even need, because money rolls in so fast, he has snow shovels to pick it up. Alfonso keeps his daughter January Natasha Vasquez dripping in diamonds. She says she's even got her labia beautifully baroque with an enormous seven carat stone. She's a role model and knows it. Showing girls exactly where their vaginas can take them if they try hard enough. But being this wealthy totally has a downside though. See, she's terrified of trees and afraid that elves will abduct her and have their way with her. And she's never even had to learn to read or chew. It's so awesome. In her world, nothing is impossible except humility and basic spelling. Especially when a manservant chews your food and spits it into your mouth. Private jets, fleets of $300,000 sports cars, waterfall waterbeds, plus they've got a plasma TV in the toilet bowl to watch your favorite shows while you're making yourself throw up an $800 meal. That's what being rich is all about. It doesn't get any better than this. If heaven exists, it won't be this good. Coming up next, boats, yachts, and twats. It's the decadence that you dream of, and it's only on I'm Rich. This is CNT. My name is Stephanie Pearson. I tried dating, but it mostly ended in me just getting desperate and blowing homeless guys. Then I met Nathan on lovemeet.net. We totally hit it off. Then he slit my throat and killed himself. Now we'll be together forever. Thanks, love me. Meet the man, woman, or beast of your dreams. Meeting someone is as easy as logging on, paying for a lifetime subscription, and receiving emails from the worst dregs of society you always feared were out there. Lovemeet.net. Welcome back to I'm Rich. In this section, we've got an in-depth investigation into corruption and scandal in the charity industry, alongside a report from the front line of poverty in our own country and how bent politicians are wasting the money you give them. <laughs> Only joking. Who cares about tales of woe when we've got tales of wow? We're going to talk about wealthy people like they are in any way interesting. And we'll point out how pathetic your life is because you don't have emerald encrusted toilet paper or a pet dragon that shits pizza. That's more, eh? Speaking of shit. <laughs> Liberty City has taken decadence to a whole new level recently, officially becoming the world's capital of stupid money when five generations of inbreeding created a wasp icon so drunk with fame and wealth he doesn't even know his own name. Lyle Cleethorpe V's ancestors made their fortune selling tobacco and slaves, both of which are good. But the Emancipation Proclamation didn't get his family down. They import all their labor from Mexico for pennies, making him mega ultra party time rich. He spends his time sleeping with models whose shoulder blades could cut paper, holding court at the fanciest clubs in town, such as the legendary celeb hangout Maisonette 9 and driving sports bikes while high on drugs. It's the American dream. He's talentless, pointless, and tedious. And we're talking about him because advertisers will pay for spots on this show. Let's think about that for a second. There, a quick reflection is good. Now, let's get on with our lives. Stay jealous, people. I know I will. It's the decadence that you dream of, and it's only on I'm Rich. I'm Rich is brought to you by Crepia, budget lifestyle solutions made from particle board, Rimmer sunglasses, sight for sore eyes, Al Dentes, all the Mamma Mia you can eat, Trackify Wireless, keep tabs on the ones you love, Big Log Cereal, who doesn't love Big Logs in the morning, Wife Beater Gin, the way to relax when you want her to shut the fuck up and let you watch TV, Bean Machine Coffee, Chihuahua hot dogs. Try beating our meat. Promotional consideration and advertising breaks brought to you by Adios Air. Say your goodbyes. Lax to the max. Get flowing again. 
Alpha Male, the Postal Evolution, the Alco Patch. It's the same refreshing feeling of your favorite drink, but delivered transdermally and discreetly. Fanny Crabs Bar and Grill. You'll love the taste of our Fanny Crabs. Support for the sponsor listing portion of the show brought to you by 24-7 Convenience Stores. Where else you